We are back here at the zoo for another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video. Today, I have another topic to talk about. We have a lot of new characters coming to Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, and I have had some very, very basic questions asked on my streams. Um, a lot of the stuff you actually get told in the tutorials, so I wanted to go through today and go through all of the different stores that are in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes and sort of pick and choose what I think are the most important things to talk about in each of the stores. So, do not forget to check me out on Twitch. I do stream every Sunday, Monday, and Thursday at 7.30 EST. And let's go ahead and get started in the video. And the first store that we are going to talk about is going to be the shipment store. This store is going to be right here on your phone and these items right here are going to be very very helpful for your relic salvage they add up over time eventually you hit points you're getting like 4500 of these if you're a new player you will not know what relic average salvage is however when you get your characters up to gear 12 and then you get them up to what would be gear 13 they start getting these rings around them and you can take this up, however, it costs gear, and you destroy it to turn it into those items. So these are super helpful to get. The rest of the store is you if you want to spend money. Um, you do get crystals through the game. Generally speaking, I do not recommend going for the character shards. It's e Gear is more important in this game than the shards are. You can spend it on... Um, mod slicing mats or um, gear which is generally speaking what I would do I would probably go the, for the gear in this one if you are going to be using crystals in here mostly especially if you're a new player use it on the energy refreshes though the second store is going to be whale mart so the weekly shipment is a very helpful store but a very expensive store so these two here, you can use actual credits. So if you are no longer credit poor, you can actually buy shards for characters that you want to use. Super, super helpful. Um, you get 10 shards of a character that you don't, and it's only a million credits. Eventually you get a lot of credits. So it's not as big of an issue down the line. The ally points one, I recommend doing bronzeums. I never buy anything in here. I always do the bronzeums instead. Character shards, same issue as the shipments. However, the gear, the amount of items that you can buy with crystals is unlimited. Absolutely unlimited. This is literally the Walmart of Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, and you could probably spend a hundred thousand dollars in this freaking store, and you may still not have everything. Because this store keeps going on and on. I don't think I've ever actually hit the bottom, so I'm... Okay, there. So yeah, that is the absolute bottom. That took a hot minute. Alright, so the second store that we're going to talk about is going to be the Cantina store. So this store, um, going to be one of the first ones you actually hit in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. Hi, Suki. Are you going to be nice and cute and friendly today? Come here, do you want to say hi? Hold on, hold on. We're taking a break for a second. Come here, Suki. We're going to say hi to everybody. This is Suki. Does not look happy that I'm holding her. But it's okay, because I love her. And she's a nice and friendly kitty. Alright, do you want to go say hi to Mommy now? Do you want to leave Dad? There we go. Alright, back to the Cantina store. Okay. Yeah, Cantina store. So, shipping building mats, um, I bought it for a while because I thought it would be helpful. It, you eventually get more than you need for those. The training droids are absolutely useless. Um, eventually, Cassian's Ewing is actually the best buy in this store. You can use this to get um, charge shop currency, which once you get seven star characters, um, anything beyond the seven stars goes towards seven... Uh, goes towards shard shop currency 
So this is actually the best buy here. You get more shard shop currency for doing this than you do the other characters in the store. Um, out of the other ones, Chopper gets you Thrawn and Palpatine, which is an optional one for Palpatine, but it is super, super helpful. Both of those characters are really, really nice. Um, we got Pow, Bistan, both have good squads, sort of. Pow is really good in a Mon Mothma lineup. Bistan has a really, really good ship, which, if you're running a Rebel lineup, is one of the ones that will really, really boost that squad up. Ahsoka Tano is needed for gas. We have Fives, who is not needed for gas. However, has a really, really good ship in the Negotiator lineups. I use that ship literally every single day. You also need him for 501st team or shock lineup if you're going to be running that. Boba Fett helps get you the scoundrel event for the credit heist. And you also need his ship and him to get Chewbacca slash the uh, Hans Falcon, which is an incredible ship for the um, Akbar lineup. You can use, which I did not list, you can use Stormtrooper to get R2-D2. But he's a meh character I would not recommend going for him. Old Daka is really good in Night Sister lineups. First Order Officer, you need to get SLKR. And until you get like up up there with some of the squads, you a lot of people use him as a one of the important ones in first order lineups. Bygone's not so hot. Uh Poe Dameron is the other one. You need him for Ray. I don't actually know if anybody's using him. I have him 7-starred, and I don't think I've ever used him. He does also have a ship, so there is that if you're going to be running Radis lineup. So those would be all the key characters for the Cantina store. It is a really nice store to get some characters. Um, one of my favorite things, if you go for Ahsoka Tano first, if you get a really good ally that has gas, you can put Ahsoka in your starting lineups for um, the light side battles. And gas will taunt, and Ahsoka cannot take damage until gas dies. You can solo with just Ahsoka to three star just about all of the missions if you have an ally with a high enough uh, General Anakin Skywalker. So, next store is going to be the Guild Store. This is another one. This store has a lot of stuff in it. As you can see, I get gear in here. I have most of the characters, seven star, that I want to work on. There's a lot of important gear that pops up in this store. I'm not going to go through what gear is important. I'm just going to stick to what characters are important. Uh, so the key ones here are going to be Dengar, Zam Wessel. They get you, well, you can use them to get Chewbacca. Um, Zam Wessel, I personally did not go for. Dengar makes the event so much easier. Um, you then have the Ewoks, which you have Ewok Elder, Logre, and Paplu. Paplu is the only one I did not farm in this store. I farmed Elder and Logre in this store. This is the only spot you can farm Logre. Um, if you go for 3PO on Contact Protocol, he is going to be one of the characters that will hold you back. Between him and Wicket, they're the ones that take a long time to get. However, C-3PO is needed for gas, and he really helps the Rebel lineup as well as Padme, depending on where you want to use him. Colonel Stark, as well as Darth Maul, are both going to be used for Sith Eternal Emperor, who also is going to be a very helpful character. It's one of the only Galactic Legends, one of four right now, until we get uh, fifth and sixth ones. So, obviously, key character there. The characters themselves aren't super useful. Um, Imperial Troopers are really good. Darth Maul needs a rework. Um, you also have three resistance characters for Scavenger, Trooper, and Finn that all are used to get Galactic Legends Ray. Uh, however, I do not recommend farming Scavenger Ray here. Um, Finn is if you want to. Trooper, I believe this is the only place you can farm other than a hard node. Um, however, Scavenger Ray, the hard node also gets you the um, Falcon. Her Falcon. So you're better off just farming her from the hard node. That way you get both. Um, you also need the First Order Special Forces TIE Fighter Pilot and Kylo Ren for SLKR. Kylo Ren has a Cantina node, so that is wherever you want to. Personally, I farm him in here just because I have too many Cantina farms that I want to work on. Um, you also have Sunfac, B2, and Magna for Padme. Um, those are all three optional characters. Um, most people, you're probably going to be using Magna, maybe. Um... 
However, B2 takes a little bit longer. He two of those three. The droids both have Cantina nodes, and Sunfac, you can get him here and the Fleet Store. Um, that's going to be the same thing with Gas. So the two droids are also going to be needed for Gas. They are a requirement. That one's not optional. Uh, Farm Boy, Luke, and Old Ben are also in this store. They're needed for CLS. I do not recommend farming either one of them in here. They have really low Cantina node farms. So they're way easier to get in the Cantina rather than wasting Guild Store currency on uh, those two characters. Now, the key characters that have good ships are going to be Rex, Clone Sergeant. Those two characters have really good ships. Uh, Rex can be used to counter other negotiators to help get your ships quicker. Uh, Echo is, and Rex are both used in 501st lineups or shock lineups. And then, oh, you also have Colonel Stark and Snowtrooper that can be used for R2-D2, neither of which I used at all for the event. Next store is going to be one of the other ones that a lot of people care about. Squad Arena Store. Prestige. Absolutely amazing thing to invest in. Uh, we will always be getting new capital ships. You need a lot of these. I do not remember the amount off the top of my head. How many you need to completely max out the abilities. But you do need a lot and it takes a long time to farm these. So I def definitely recommend hoarding the prestige. Um, Pain and Jerris can be used for well can be used for palpatine as well as yoda you also need him for thrawn you can use greedo and ig88 for chewbacca ig88 also has a ship that is needed to get the hans falcon and ig88 also has a ship ig2000 that is actually a really good reinforcement for um the separatist lineup and the malevolence Windu has his own capital ship, so you do need to get his at least 7 star, I believe, to do his um, mission. Then you can use both of those characters for Yoda. Ventress is needed for General Anakin Skywalker, who is probably the best non-galactic legend in the game, maybe other than Jedi Knight Luke. Han and Leia are both needed for CLS, who's a really good character older but he is still a really good character especially once you get chupio hk47 is needed for darth revan tarkin can be used for r2d2 he is one that i would recommend using for r2d2 also tarkin is super important zetas are one of the hardest things to come by in star wars galaxy of heroes video the sooner you get his challenge done for his sh capital ship the sooner you get your zeta mats it will put you significantly farther ahead the sooner you can get those Darth Sidious is needed for Sith Eternal Emperor. Akbar has his capital ship. And Newt Gunray has one of the easiest leaderships to get Padme with. Uh, he is probably the easiest one you can get. Bird Alpha would, in my opinion, be better. But you do not get him for significantly later. So Newt Gunray is one of the easiest ones there to work towards. The next store is going to be Galactic War. Galactic War is one of the most fun stores. Um, lots of ships. I always recommend getting the ships first. Um, this is also the store you can get the quickest seven star. So I recommend getting, doing your Galactic War as much as possible. Uh, getting that seven star character helps out so much. So getting him first, which I believe it's 11 weeks is the earliest you can get your seven star, or 11 days. is the earliest you can get your first seven star character if you complete Galactic uh, Galactic War every single day. So, work on that. It helps out a lot in the raids and getting, getting those extra gear as well as the character shards for the raids. So, Zeb has to be used for Thrawn. Well, optional minus the one Phoenix. Can be used for Palpatine, which I would definitely recommend doing. He's also used for the uh, his ship in the Rebel lineup. Cad Bane, as well as his ship, are needed for can be used for Chewbacca as well as the Hans Falcon. Biggs is needed for Jedi Master Luke and can be used for Palpatine. Phoenix works better in my opinion. Poggle can be used for Padme, which since you can 7-star Poggle very, very quickly, it means you can get Padme at quick, quicker. Not quickly. It'll take a minute. So using him under a new gunray lead, combining the two stores, means you can get Padme sooner. And Padme is one of the best teams you can get 
to push up there are people that can get really high up there with padme padme can counter just about any team it just requires a lot of the modding resistance pilot is used for ray uh, phasma is going to be used for slkr now here's the key one is the ships ahsoka all three of the geo ships clone sergeant wig wedge and biggs Plo Koon, Umbaran Starfighter, and the First Order High Fighter Pilot, yeah, are all ships you will either need or are really good ships. The Geos, you will help make your uh, Tarkin lineup so much better starting off, and it'll help you get the Zeta Mat Challenge. All of the Galactic Republic ships are amazing in uh, Negotiator lineups, and then you need First Order one. For um, finalizer and the two um, rebel ships help you get um, the chimera. The next store is going to be the mod store. Generally speaking, you can skip this store. If you have the extra credits, you can buy mods, but this is a really risky one because you most of them you don't actually know what you're getting. So I completely ignore the store. I don't buy anything here. Occasionally I will check it. I normally forget it's there. So I'm gonna completely skip over that now. The Fleet Arena store. This store, because of the Zeta mats right here, is going to be one of the most important things. Zeta mats are always a good buy. Now, reemphasize that with, I recommend getting your ships up first until you have a good Fleet Arena rank. Um, ships in this one are very, very helpful. Now, there is going to be the Bistons Ewing, Poe Dameron, Slave One, Rex's Ship, Ghost, and Phantom that I recommend buying from this store. Now, you can use it to boost up your other ones. However, a lot of them are also going to be in the Galactic War store. Hi, Suki. You're cute again. Um, in the Galactic War store, so I would recommend getting them in the Galactic War store. But if you're going to push up your arena rank, like I bought Ahsoka ship in the uh, Galactic War store. Actually, I bought Geos and the uh, Galactic Republic in both of these locations, so I could seven star them quicker, so I could get my fleet arena rank up. So if you want, you can do that. That is your choice. The Tide Vanced is also another ship that is really, really good in here. Um, it just does a lot of damage. Uh, I didn't put it on there because it doesn't get you a whole lot starting off, but it can be used to help get the uh, Zeta Mat Challenge done. Now out of the characters, Darth Vader is going to be probably the biggest one, as well as General Grievous in this store. You can use Vader as well as Tarkin to get R2-D2. Super helpful character for a rebel lineup. You can do Grievous as well as Sunfac. I do recommend getting Sunfac here as well, just because he takes a very long time to farm, because these are the only two spots you can get him. And they can be used for Padme. I don't recommend going for Grievous for Padme. It would take forever. Windu, Ezra, and uh, Plo Koon can be used for Yoda. I farm Plo Koon here. I uh, did not farm Windu. I got him from the squad store. Ezra has a Cantina node. That is really low, so I recommend going for the Cantina node for him. But all three of those can be used for Yoda. And then First Order TIE Fighter Pilot, this is the only spot you can get him. Farm him if you want. He's not that great of a character, but he does have a good ship. So if you want to, you can do that. Um, Rex, Echo, I farmed in this store. I like both of those characters, 501st. And Rex is an amazing character, standalone. Akbar has his capital ship. Bistan, I don't recommend getting here. You can get him in the Cantina store. Clone Sergeant, I believe I farmed here as well, just because the Clone Sergeant ship is actually really, 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 really helpful for the negotiator lineups. Um, we're gonna move on to one of the last stores, Gildament store. This is probably gonna be the easiest one to talk about because there really isn't a whole lot here. We have five characters total and two ships. Malevolence and Negotiator, um, I recommend farming both of them to seven star before you spend any other get two currency on anything else. These two ships help in Grand Arena so much. 
malevolence lineups are very very good you can actually underman a lot of squads with that negotiator lineups are absolutely amazing that is what i run in my fleet right now and i'm working on getting malevolence kitty has a little cone on so she's a little hyperactive but adorable um there is a lot of gear in this store and it is so tempting to spend the stuff on it however i do recommend going and saving all of it until you have the characters and ships seven starred because they are very they're really helpful um now character wise we have malik as well as gas that you have to complete events first and then you can spend the money okay suki um so i recommend saving both of these cur like the get one until you have enough to seven star both of these i don't remember the amount it is a lot to seven star both of these characters so i recommend just hoarding that and then once you have enough going for wampa and hermit yoda and then once you have all of the characters seven starred um then going for the gear it's gonna take a long time it will be worth it in the long term uh wampa can solo teams and then hermit yoda is an amazing jedi used under night jedi knight revan and he's a really good standalone character just to throw in squads so it's super tempting to go for the gear but i do recommend saving it for the characters in the ships the championship store the championship store is only gear and mod slicing materials i normally spend all of it on mod slicing materials mods make or break this game so do what you want with this store but i almost exclusively farm slicing mats from this one just because i want to work on mods the last store is going to be shard store now as you just saw i had excess shards for ig86 so those two extra shards get turned into shard shop currency then you can buy them the only character in this store is gonna be general grievous really good character but honestly just farm him from the fleet the amount he cost to get you're better off spending it on gear in my opinion is there is a lot of important gear that you can get in here and the stuff takes time to get so i definitely recommend going and just saving it for the gear wait for the stuff to pop up you want to at first eventually more stuff pops up and you end up with more currency so it becomes easier and that is going to conclude today's video i know it's not probably the most fun one however it is a very important topic what is in all of the stores is really really helpful um if you're getting the wrong things you can waste a lot of resources that can set you behind so i do recommend everything that i said if you have any disagreements go ahead and tell me in the comments below and do not forget to check me out on twitch and you're already on the youtube so i don't need to say that part and now that i am on this screen we're gonna go ahead and end the video for the night so until next time the zoo's closing down for the night <laughs>